This is the topic one video. This is the first of 11 videos I will make introducing you to the topic of the week that we'll be working on. Note that some topics will actually take more than one week, especially early in the semester when we're figuring out how things are going to work. Each topic has its own web page, which you can find in the right sidebar of the course website. This week we are doing topic one. You should open the topic one web page now. Each topic page lists required and recommended readings. Some of these quote unquote readings are actually non-print resources like videos or audio recordings. You must read the required readings, but you may also want to read the recommended ones, especially if you need more help after the readings. Each topic page includes a list of learning objectives. When you can complete the learning objectives, you've learned what you need to for the topic. Let's talk about topic one. Econ 201 is really one third an introduction to economics and two third an introduction to macroeconomics. Topic one introduces economics in general. If you take, take an economic 202, and most of you have not, um, this should be familiar to you. You should read the first three chapters of the Sexton book. Don't worry, ordinarily we won't be doing three chapters a week. This is just to get the course started. As you do the readings, you should answer the following three questions. Number one, what are the major concepts defined in this topic? Every concept isn't major. Why did you choose the concepts that you did? Can you define them in your own words? Can you apply each to a situation different from that presented in the book? Question number two, what are the major theories or models introduced in this topic? Can you apply each theory to an issue or problem different from that presented in the book? In other words, can you take a specific theory and use it to analyze a given situation? Um, this is something we're actually going to be working on all semester long, so um, don't worry about it if you can't figure this out right at the beginning. Finally, question number three. What are the major institutional facts or findings presented in this topic? An institutional fact is something that is true in economics. For example, U.S. monetary policy is conducted by the Federal Reserve. An institutional finding is something that has been discovered in economics. For example, U.S. monetary policy from 2001 until 2004 was generally expansionary. Why do you believe the institutional facts and findings you chose are major ra rather than minor? So you've got three questions to figure out. What are the major concepts? What are the major theories and models? What are the major institutional facts and findings? Answering these questions isn't easy, but they will help you learn the material. Please email me your answers by Friday night. Friday night means by the time I wake up Saturday morning. Your answers don't have to be in any formal format as long as they give the information that I asked for. Thanks.